Hey, what's up, obscure mic people? It is Bart coming back at you with another microphone review. And today we have the PV PVM 480. The PV PVM 480. It is a pencil condenser microphone that you can find most places between $70 and $150. Again, it's PV. Let's take a look at this thing. Nothing super special, just a really nice Darth Vader Death Star looking black mic with a red logo and an XLR port. And it's just, it is pretty. I do like it, but it is just a pencil microphone. You're going to hear some wicked ass plosives in this thing. So be prepared. Uh, let's go ahead and do some tests. Quick video, sort of, but I do have something to put this Death Star in. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. That is awful. That is terrible. Terrible. Terrible, I tell you. It's terrible. Let's go ahead and get right up on the microphone so you can see what it sounds like when you're right on top of the microphone. This is what it sounds like. Do some off-axis rejection talking directly into the microphone and turning it 90 degrees. 180 degrees the other 90 degree angle and then back around slowly to the front of the microphone yes the pv pvm 480 i will say i don't mind the sound of this microphone sometimes you use an instrument pencil condenser and the the results are too thin or you know just doesn't sound right you know i say you know a lot but this one i think is workable for voice especially if we have something to curb those peas. And I don't feel comfortable talking into this thing with that kind of plosive activity. So what are we going to do? What did we do last time I had a pencil condenser, folks? We used the old bark canister. For those of you who haven't seen it, here's the link to me creating the bark canister. I made this specifically for no specific reason, but for things like this, the PVM 480, big ass windscreen, cool, well, kind of a cool body, but I mean, essentially I can make this look like a cooler mic on camera if I want to. Shut the hell up, Bark, and just do it. Okay, I will. So the Bark canister, if you hadn't seen the video, is a nice wooden canister that I fashioned with an XLR port. And I fashioned some magnets on it. And there's an XLR connection down in there. And there's one on the back of the canister. So this is an SM7B grill with the big filter on it. The big four. The big boy? Big boy? The big boy. So I'm going to take the PVM480. I'm going to stick it in here. That's what she said. Yeah! And we're going to use it more of a, as a broadcasty mic. And that's going to curb the plosives for show. Now I will let you watch the method of my madness. All right, so there it is. It's in the old canister. Let's turn this up. Okay, so now we've got the mic in the bark canister. So now Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Plosives will not penetrate, 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 penetrate. Penetration's a great word. Plosives will not penetrate this microphone. And I've got, you know, this really long dongy looking thing in front of me. To, uh, to make it look a little more broadcasty. To make this seem a little more like an actual production. Hear what I did there? Production. Production, production, production. Let's throw processing on this in the mic canister. Audio processing now enabled. And I know from experience with this microphone that this is when I like the sound of this microphone as a broadcasty, podcasty powerhouse. 
I think it sounds really good, and now Peter Piper can pick all the pickled pecks of pizza pineapple that he wants because it doesn't matter. And you can still get up on the microphone and get some proximity effect, even though it's stuck inside the bark canister. I Is that the name for it? Is it now the bark canister? Is that just what we're going to call it? It's the bark canister. I love this thing. It's just fun to throw mics in it and get something different out of it. It's a lot of fun, and I think it sounds pretty good, if I do say so myself. So the PVM-480, better on voice than I expected. I'm sure it's fine on instruments. I'm working on getting this set up as a instrumental studio as well. I've got guitars. I need a bass. I need some drums. Going to make an album. Not even joking. It's probably going to suck, but it'll be fun, and I'll be able to say I did it. But the PVM-480, I like it. I hope you liked it. Obscure mics. I'm out of here with this one, man. No handling noise because it's like little. Little. I'm not going to handle it. Can't handle something that little, right? Or do I all the time? Peace out.